Now there's an interesting property of waves, which I'll demonstrate here with this rubber band, is that if you generate waves from a point, so I'm just going to grab this and twist it, you can see that the threads here are right-handed on one side and left-handed on the other side. So the waves that propagate out in the two directions are actually a mirror image of each other. And it turns out that's a feature of matter and antimatter, which can be produced from you know, essentially a single point when a, two photons collide or something like that. And it turns out that in every experiment that's ever been done, matter and antimatter behave exactly like mirror images of each other. When you look in a mirror, you see things that never happen with matter, but that do happen with antimatter. Let's consider the example of beta decay, in which cobalt-60 emits an electron and an antineutrino. The electron is always emitted in the opposite direction of the nuclear spin, and the antineutrino is always right-handed. If we look at that process in the mirror, of course the velocity gets reversed in the mirror, but the spin, because that's derived from rotations, uh, is not reversed in the mirror. So what we see in the mirror is a process where a particle is emitted from a nucleus in the same direction as the spin. Now, physicists have long believed that the mirror image of matter is also matter. However, it's obvious from the data here that the mirror image process cannot be done by matter because in the mirror this particle is emitted parallel to the spin whereas over here it was emitted anti-parallel to the spin. And in fact all of these anti-neutrinos are right-handed and no one's ever seen a left-handed anti-neutrino which would be the mirror image. So physicists have come up with a convoluted explanation of why this process in the mirror never happens. It involves a process called spontaneous symmetry breaking. And the problem with that explanation is that the mirror image does happen. If we were able to construct a nucleus of anti-cobalt, it would in fact decay by emitting a positron parallel to the nuclear spin and it would emit a left-handed neutrino. Okay, this is perfectly consistent with all the known laws of physics. So there is in fact a mirror image process. It involves the reversal of the charge uh, and more generally just exchanges uh, matter with antimatter. Now, you always have a choice of what theory to believe you can either believe the convoluted explanation about spontaneous symmetry breaking, or you can believe this obvious picture here where you simply exchange matter and antimatter. And the good thing is, nobody can ever be like Alice and go through the looking glass and actually measure what's on the other side. So you can believe whichever theory you want, and no one can contradict you. Okay, so I suggest you believe the simple theory rather than the more complicated one.